No, that's not the sound of me going to the toilet. I'm making tea. Hello and welcome to episode three of my English podcast. To read along to this podcast, go to www.myenglishpodcast.com. As you can hopefully hear from the sound effect at the start, I'm making a nice cup of tea. It's too early to drink a beer. And so I thought I'd talk to you today about the classic English drink, tea. According to the UK Tea and Infusions Association, eighty-four percent of the British population drink tea and herbal infusions every day. And after the Republic of Ireland, Britain is the second largest tea-drinking nation. In the world, our favourite hot drink, however, isn't a recent affair. Tea first came to England in the seventeenth century, and was first imported from China by Portuguese and Dutch traders. The main importers, however, were the British East India Company, who imported tea to be enjoyed. By the wealthy classes in Britain, it was later sold in coffee houses. Yes, you heard that right. Tea was sold in coffee houses. They were places of business and relaxation that only men were allowed to enter. Tea became a popular drink among the middle classes, because at that time. It was a fairly expensive product. It was an expensive product because of high taxes, and as more and more Britons wanted to drink tea, smuggling became very common, in order to avoid this taxation. It is said that roughly seven million pounds of illegal tea was smuggled into Britain, as opposed to five million legal pounds. A downside to the smuggling meant that smuggled, or in other words, illegally imported tea, led to adulteration of tea. This meant that tea was mixed with leaves from other plants, or other substances, that were harmful to health. In 1784, the government decided to take action, and significantly reduce tax. To stop illegal smuggling, most of the tea was imported from China, but larger quantities began to be imported from India and Sri Lanka at cheaper prices, leading to tea becoming a firmly established way of British life. Making the perfect cuppa in Britain is taken very seriously. Step one: make sure you use boiling water. Step two: Place your tea bag in a cup, and pour the boiling water over it until the cup is almost full. Step three: Let the tea steep for two to five minutes, depending on how strong you like it. Step four: Remove the tea bag and add a touch of milk. Yes, we drink tea with milk in Britain. Ninety-eight percent of us Brits drink tea with milk, and ninety-six percent use the conventional tea bag. The most common form of tea is the English breakfast tea, which is a combination of Assam, Ceylon, and Kenyan teas. But other black tea is widely consumed, and brands such as Tetley, PG Tips, and Yorkshire teas. Are the most common teas found in British homes. Typically, the British also practice the art of dunking. This has nothing to do with basketball, but rather, it means 
eating a biscuit that has been dunked into hot tea. How is tea drunk in your country? Do you practice the art of dunking at home? Remember, you can begin practicing your English in the comments section of this podcast at www.myenglishpodcast.com. Thanks for listening and see you next time.